Greetings and salutations. My name is JW608, and this is Star Maid, and this is the Ice Queen 2. Oh yeah, I finally got it to work. I had to fiddle with the uh, the shipyard computer a little more, but it is done and ready, and for the first time, well, for the second time, because I ran on here and made a blueprint of it real quick, and but this is the first time I am in gravity in the actual... Ice Queen 2 instead of the holographic representation. Uh, I can't activate a... a um, something... looks like it's moving. Oh, am I moving? Is the ship moving? Okay, that's weird. Anyway, uh, I don't have any other transporters. So there's the cockpit. Y'all know what, if, what all's in this ship. You've seen it. Oh, a couple days ago, but it's been a few days for me, so I actually want to wander through my actual physical ship. And I can open these actual physical uh, storage containers. So exciting. Ah, and there's my decorative piece. And the window, and the next project, well, probably what we're going to do today is setting a cargo pod for it. Want to go to engineering? Uh, no data, so my um, display modules got reset. And cargo area, all right. So exciting. And drop down. Oh, I'm out of gravity. Why am I out of gravity? Oh, I'm gonna use that door properly. It's because I dropped down. Anyway, and here are my quarters. I can even fit. I'd even test that out. All right. And I'm out of gravity again. Hmm, that's going to be irritating. I never had gravity work quite right for me in the first place. Okay, so we are going to go swing the ship, the Ice Queen 2, Arabic numeral 2, not Roman numeral 2, to, um, to the standard dock on the... Station. Uh, I keep pressing R. What button is it now? T. It used to be O, so I don't know why I was pressing R. Anyway, uh, here we go. Flight. See, I have no data and no data. Alrighty, that means we are going to go into build mode and go name the... the... Uh, uh, two hickeys. That's salvage beam, and you are storage pull. So exciting. I got out. I didn't want to get out. I wanted to. Yeah, here we go. Salvage beam, I want on one. Cannon computer on two. Storage pull on oh, 05 or so. My rail docker on nine. Radar jammer on two. Cannon computer on three. Is that everything? I believe so. Oh, and it works, and the lights blink and everything. Oh, it, ah, that just feels good. Well, it looks like I have undocked. And she's flying on her own for the first time, other than that one time I took her into the simulation. How's the handling? Ah, it's not too bad. Better than our predecessor. Okay. But I want to dock her. That's the wrong button. Where's the button? Okay. Because I... I'll leave that door open. I also want to take care of... Uh, the extra ship I have now. Let's see. And there's something else I wanted to do. Or at least try to do. Guess I don't have to wait on the elevator. I'm not in gravity. Did I put it in here? Or did I actually put it in the shipyard office? Cargo 12. Okay, it's in the shipyard office. Very good. I really need to finish this hallway. But I also really need to get more standard armor. Anyway. Ah, uh, now for the ship you haven't seen. Can you guess where I what I did? 
If you guessed flew too close to the sun, you are correct. But no, it wasn't the same asteroid this time. It was getting from a shop. Where was I? Oh, I was from this shop. I believe it was this shop to uh, headquarters here. You get too close to the sun. And it cooks you all about right here. So apparently I've gotten as close as I can to the star without incurring its wrath from my station. It's going to be interesting. Hmm. Really need that heat shield. Anyway, this is the mini miner. It's, it's basically a bunch of uh, uh, what's on this side? Power on this side. And uh, I can't think right now. Salvage modules with some cargo on a, and a lazy miner timer on it. And that's basically all it is. But we want to get... Well, I also made a blueprint of it. Let's see, can I? I can. And we are going to go back to the shipyard that hates me with a bitter passion. See if this works. And I don't want to pull it to design, I just want to eat the pieces. Place order. Deconstruct to, well, let's see. Make sure in here is the Mini Miner 1 blueprint. I want that there. And that's the other ship designs. I want to pull the Ice Queen 2 design out and put it here. That one I want to go in that drawer. File, whatever. Anyway. Place order and deconstruct without design. Yes, I understand the risk. We're going to watch it get pulled back into my resources. I do think it's neat when it works. It just eats it away. Uh, Alright, now there should be a... Create... This is a blueprint from design. Can I create... Ah, create design from blueprint. No oh, shipyard blue. Okay. Place order. Create design from blueprint. This is Cargo Pod 12K Gray Mark II. Um, cargo Pod 12K. Okay. Ah, and it gave me both. I want to. I can't load it. No, I can't load it because it's unloaded. Or unload it because it's loaded. Okay. Okay, I just want designs here, blueprints on this one, and whatever strikes me at the moment there. Ah, there it is. This is, uh, we're going to go ahead and build it. We should have enough. Place order, construct. This is going to be odd alpha one. And it's going to get stuck, isn't it? No? It just needs a little more gray hull? Come on. I built it mostly out of gray hull. There we go. Now let me show off my cargo pod, and we're going to go see if this thing actually works. All it is is a box with a standard docking thing here. A cargo... This turns on and off the cargo pull. Uh, it's a core. These are just slab walls. I gave it thrusters and a back door. Because if I need to move it around, I'd like to have the thrusters on it. And all this is cargo spaces here. Let me top in the core and show it off. Yeah, see? That's just slam full of, of uh, cargo. I believe it holds... 12,000 volume. I should be able to undock her and move it around. And what I'd like to do is dock it to the back of the Ice Queen 2. And if all works, in theory, I should be able just to snap this in Ooh, it doesn't handle real well, but it's not supposed to. It's a cargo container. Called it a pod. It's more of a container, anyway. Let's snap it in right there. And get out. Oh, that's beautiful. 
and ah yeah yes that lit up so that should have lit up something in the come on work in the car or in the hull and that's why I have this window here so you can say oh yes there's a cargo container there uh, and I'd really like it that cargo spaces showed up through transparency blocks then I might punch poke holes in that but you can't see cargo through glass so that that isn't going to help much. Anyway, activate that button. And activate this button. I know there's an easier way to do all this, but I like flying through my ship. Activate this button and that one. And that green light means that I have a cargo pod installed. So, let's see. I'm going to go back this way. I'm going to leave these doors open because I'm going to walk them back and forth for a little while. Yes, I could have done this in creative, or build mode, but I'm not very intelligent. I mean, I mean, I wanted to walk through my ship. I want to make sure you are not pulling. You're not pulling. And I want to make sure you are. You're now pulling. Can test this real easily by I um what I have uh, throwing something in there. I believe that's set up to pull everything. Let me check real quick. Uh, change items to auto pull. Oh, at all, at all of five hundred units a piece. Okay, I'm glad I went back to check. <laughs> okay. We're gonna try it by throwing in, I don't know, some four ice crags. And and some oh no, but pulled. Okay. So it pulled. And should have pulled it to the cargo pod. It's clipping through that wall. I thought I was anyway. Must have been my imagination. And there we go. Four ice craig in the cargo. But no, I don't want. Oh, I don't. Stop that. Okay. I intentionally didn't put a door here so I could easily manipulate these things without trying to figure out all right, which one's the door. But that worked and it worked beautifully. And next time we're going to go try her out. We're going to fire up the jump drive. See how efficient that is. And go mine some asteroids. Oh, I know it's going to be so exciting. I know you love mining videos. All right, I have been JW608, and this is not how you sit down. There, this has been Starmade, and I will dig you cats later.